a remarkable photographic archive of life in the Ivory Coast in the 1930s. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington and I can show you this uh, photographic archive which is arranged bound in 11 albums. These were uh, taken by the um, wife of a, an American merchant called Lewis H. Gruber and um, he had timber interests and uh, the Chevrolet dealership as well. And the photographs are of the Côte d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, in the 1930s at a time, very interesting time, when the country was beginning to open out and uh, attract international attention. There was actually an expo held. Here we see a nice American car and uh, immediately captures the kind of ethos of the 30s of um, English and American merchants doing business in West Africa and there was an exposition, an expo held in uh, Abidjan in the 30s and there are photographs here and uh, we see here them preparing the pavilions for the exhibition and there's the government pavilion and various other preparations including some quite extraordinary images of uh, people turning up to show their various costumes and rituals and dances and uh, fascinating of course for the lens of uh, an American businessman's wife from Louisville, Kentucky and there are 11 of them as I say there are over 1200 images altogether all well preserved in these albums and sometimes showing details like here of getting aboard ship on a on a lift and uh, various scenery fascinating uh, the war interrupted uh, the Gruber's time in uh, the Ivory Coast they returned to America built a house in the African style and uh, would have gone back but unfortunately the lady who took these photographs was killed in a car accident and uh, never had a chance to come back but she obviously enjoyed her time here and uh, was a 